This week on TechRap, is Apple gearing up to launch the iWatch? Vine gets competitive, adds a host of new features to its iOS app. And meet Rapiro, a programmable robot that can make you coffee and keep your desk squeaky clean. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and this is TechRap, your weekly source for tech news, gadget reviews, app recommendations, and social media tips. New movement at Apple suggests the Cupertino-based company could be gearing up to launch the iWatch. In a surprise announcement this week, Apple hires former Yves Saint Laurent president and CEO Paul Deneuve as its vice president for special projects. Some speculate Apple is interested in Deneuve's experience in the fashion industry because of its plans to get into wearable computing. Speaking of the iWatch, this week Apple also filed to trademark the iWatch name in Japan, Taiwan, Russia, and Mexico. It won't be very long now till I get a spiffy new gadget on my wrist. The question is, what will the iWatch do, aside from tell time that is? Let us know online using the hashtag TechRap. Another gadget mystery is the Moto X. No other than Motorola CEO Dennis Woodside confirmed their new flagship smartphone is on its way. But what are the specs and what will it look like? A recent ad for the phone provides perhaps more questions than answers. In the latest Moto X ad, Motorola says it is, quote, the first smartphone that you can design yourself. The ad doesn't reveal much else aside from the already known fact that the phone will be manufactured in the USA. The ad is also the first time Motorola is revealing a new logo, trumpeting its being a Google company. Exactly how will this phone turn out? We'll all just have to wait and see. Rumors of a scaled-down HTC One have been circling around the tech world for about two months now. And it looks like it's not the only HTC One variant the Taiwanese company is working on. PhoneArena.com already has photos of the HTC One Mini, a 4.3-inch version of the original One. The phone will have 2 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage, and it's slated for a third quarter release. But it won't be launching alone. Several reports online point to the existence of an HTC One-like device with a 6-inch 1080p display powered by a 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor. The device called the HTC One Max will also have an ultra-pixel camera and will run on Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2. Wish there was something significant about this new report, but there isn't anything except the fact that we might just have the official name to the much-talked-about successor to the 41-megapixel Nokia PureView 808 smartphone. This tweet by Ev Leaks includes this photo of a new phone called the Lumia 1020. The tweet says the phone is coming in 2013. These rumors have gone on and on for quite a while now. Nokia should just announce the phone already. And now on to something you can have right now. Users are sure to benefit from the growing rivalry between Twitter and Facebook in the short video creation slash sharing space. Fresh off the release of video for Instagram, Vine updates its iOS app, adding lots of new features. Let me run them down for you. One of my pet peeves is that I'm so used to tapping on the screen to focus, but in Vine, that's the record button, so to speak. Now you get a focus button, which used to activate the focus feature. While activated, tapping on the screen will focus on your subject, and then you'll have to turn it off if you want to continue recording. Two, you get a new grid view, which will help you line up your shots. Three, a new ghost mode gives you a transparent version, almost like a ghost-like version of your last shot, allowing you to align elements on your next shot. When viewing latest Vine posts, you can now also re-Vine posts you like the same way you'd retweet a post on Twitter. Under profile settings, there is a new section called Your Content, where you can now protect your posts and keep your account locked to non-followers. Have you always wanted to own a robot? Well, this mechanical wonder from Japan might just be what you're looking for. Introducing Rapiro a humanoid robot you can program to do several different tasks. Its name is short for Raspberry Pi Robot. Raspberry Pi is a credit-sized computer that can be plugged into a TV and a keyboard. When put into context versus the computers of today, 
The Raspberry Pi runs like a 300 megahertz Pentium 2. Rapiro is powered by 512 megabytes of RAM and has two USB ports and an Ethernet port. The robot has 12 servo motors that allow it to walk on its feet, grip a pen, and turn its head and waist. With Raspberry Pi at its core, Rapiro owners get a wide range of developing possibilities. If connected to the internet, it can give you Facebook and Twitter notifications, manage your schedules with Google Calendar, or tell you today's weather, or even your fortune if you'd like. If embedded with a camera module, it can serve as your home security robot. On its website, Rapiro is called, quote, the cool robot you always wanted as a kid. It can make and bring you coffee, type on your keyboard, dust off your desk, and more. Rapiro is a project of Kiluk Corporation, a Japanese company founded by robot creator Shota Ishiwatari. His company is into creating character robots like this one. Ishiwatari started making robots as a high school student. He'd enter these robots in competition. In a brief interview, he tells TechRap the inspiration behind Rapiro. 3D printer is very famous keyword last year. I think uh, application of uh, 3D printer uh, is this product first uh, target. Interesting in 3D printer and uh, Raspberry Pi. So combine the two keywords, uh, I make robot. Ishiwatari says, like many engineers, he wants his robots to be interesting, which is why Rapiro looks a lot like the Japanese animation Gundam. Rapiro has garnered strong interest on Kickstarter and has already raised more than its funding goal. The project aims to get beginners into robotics and for experts to develop higher level software for it. Interested in getting your hands on one? You can get the full kit for a $350 pledge that's roughly around 15,000 pesos. And that was TechRap. For the latest news updates, you know where to go. Find Rappler.com on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. I also don't mind being your 24-7 tech hotline, so if you're buying a new device, if you have questions, send me an email. It's TechRap at Rappler.com, or if you would like, you can do so on Twitter using the hashtag TechRap. All I ask is if you like the show, if you enjoy it, then share it along on all your social networks. That's all for this week, folks. I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.